Yo, in here we are playing Ivor and Jax. Now the interesting thing is both of us we have Mystic Punch, Contract Killer. And the weird thing about Mystic Punch is that Daisy's basic attacks for some reason also reduce your cooldowns. So it means that we have Perma Chase. You guys gonna see it. I also brought an Anathema because I constantly slow and root. And Jax constantly stuns. Plus like having some defensive stats is also very nice to have. Are we both Anathema the same? Uh, shouldn't be a big deal though. I can just send in Daisy and uh, when Daisy gets this all in then we can also definitely just uh we don't have cooldowns by the way. We legit don't have cooldowns. <laughs> we don't have cooldowns. <laughs> That's funny. I even went for a Zix uh, for some extra DPS and uh, Arden Sensor because the more attacks speed we have the faster we reset our abilities plus some one hit is nice to have on both of us, not only Jax but both of us actually. Um, which I can perma apply with trigger seed now in here I could also like go for the uh, item itself how is it called um um tap of flowing water it wouldn't be bad on Jax but right now we don't need more offensive power what we need is just a better engage so I suppose I will switch up Aberfrost for Shurelia and uh, GG because <laughs> I perma apply a speed on him um I think this is fine. So I think we can sell this, yeah. This and this and get a Shurelia, right? Shurelia. Should be fine. So... Event for speed, I mean... Guess we have Parma Chase, but... Some extra speed, I guess, helps him to sidestep some things, I guess. In the Welcome specifically, it's like fine, I guess, right? We have Parma Chase. We have Parma Chase. We just have Parma Chase. He can kite. It doesn't matter. It genuinely doesn't matter. Also, we reset our ultimates, and funny enough, Jax, he resets his ult quite quickly compared to me. Because he. I think his ult is supposed to have less cooldown, but I guess with like cooldown build, I have less cooldown. <laughs> Who knows, right? So, uh, finish our item, we are there, we engage Shurelia, some, uh, I mean, I think I'm gonna mark the guy, so I'm gonna go Mik Mikael, I guess. Mikael is a bit useful because it allows me to take off the CC of the guy, of the Jax, maybe cooldown would be a bit better, but, um, we just mark with uh, Anatima, I think Anatima Kate and the other guy gets the, uh, or maybe just Anatima... I got caught somehow by those walls. So this is our kind of beat down matchup for just like all in and we just did. <laughs> yes win. We got set boots for something but is there anything that's uh, of value right now? Maybe a staff but again uh, redemption, wow nights is nice I guess that for Jax but uh, we could I mean we have enough chasing power anyways redemption, wow nights right maybe Nice double mandate, but Jax already has enough mobility, so I think this is fine. I think it's okay. He won't sort his own boots. Oh wait, potions. Ah, whatever. Now it's not a big deal. I should been probably buy, but. Oh, poor guy. Uh, yes, I don't have cooldowns, don't ask, don't ask, don't ask why do I have so many, don't ask why do I have so many, <laughs> uh, a wall would be nice actually, and that's GG for them, right? A wall would be nice, so they can disengage, I don't suppose now they have flashes, do they? 
flash on cooldown, flash on cooldown, so I go for a frozen foundation and we just rush an end. Yeah, we just rush for an end. Don't you? I think she's on the team already, right? Yeah, she is. Well, does it really matter what do we do now? Go do like 10 mistakes and still win. Lol. <laughs> so this combo goes hard. Um, just because like how much like chasing power, uh, utility you have, CC have in your kit, and you also provide some on-hit stats for Jax from your W, which is really nice stuff because he attacks quite quickly, got his auto reset, his own on-hits, right? So this is like a nice uh, combo, actually. I would recommend you guys. That's it for now. Have a nice day.